On 30th November 2022, while the tech industry was looming with fear of recession, the world got access to ChatGPT, and it's going to change the entire course of human life. Today, AI can perform any task we humans can do, just a hundred x faster. No matter what industry you are in, you cannot avoid it. Today's topic is very special because it is not a technology update, but something that is going to alter our lives dramatically. So stay with me until the end while I try to answer why is this new technology a revolution? Why should we care about it? Why should we embrace it? And how we can use it today in our daily lives? That is why it is important for you to share this video to everyone you know. so that you can help them prepare for the new world reality since the release of chat gpt it has set the record for the fastest tool adapted in the history of technology following that every big tech company announced generative ai tools and numerous apps came into light but ai is nothing new we have been using it for many years while doing that google search or while saying Hey Siri, wake me up at 7 a.m. But these AIs are really small because they can perform certain tasks based on rules or recognize some patterns based on some training. But the new one is a completely different ball game because it is not just AI; it is generative AI. As the name suggests, it can generate its own thoughts. That means it can think. Until now, this superpower was exclusive for human brain, and that is why we are creative. And all the creativity we have is based on the information we have gathered from the day we were born, and we tend to forget. Now imagine how creative a machine with unlimited access to information, which never forgets anything, never sleeps, always keeps learning, and it is hundred x faster because of these superpowers. with just our simple text input it can produce original content like humans in a way we can say this is a replica of human brain feels like a sci-fi movie right all this is possible because of the large language models the reason it is large is because unlike the past ais this one consists of a massive number of parameters which enables it to capture and comprehend complex patterns in the language to give you a figure Chat GPT-4 has 220 billion parameters, which is still less compared to Google Brain's 1.6 trillion parameters. That is why whatever we input, it can understand easily and output human-like responses creatively. And that is exactly why it is a revolution. But there is one thing AI cannot do yet. I'm talking about emotions. Emotions are the only thing that separates us humans from machines. But unfortunately, now is not the time to be emotional. If we keep our emotions aside for a second and think logically like a machine, that's when we will realize the people who can use this tech are no less than superhumans and they can threaten our survival. And that's exactly why we need to care about it. Still didn't understand? Here is an example. Imagine what happens when a company finds a person who can do your job 100x better and faster. They will fire you. And that's how your survival will be at stake. This can happen to each of us faster than we think. Change is coming and it is one of the hardest things for us because change makes us uncomfortable. That is why we fear change. But what happens if we don't change? Let us look into our history to understand it better. Between the years 1760 and 1840, we transitioned from manual labor to machines. The development in technology of that time helped us cut down the cost and time of producing goods. We call this period the industrial revolution. People of that time revolted because of job loss, but it did not stop the transformation. Eventually, everyone had to adopt the change. Later, between 1969 and 1989, the digital revolution occurred. We got access to internet and personal computers, again causing the fear of job loss. Yet, we moved forward towards the information-rich world. Now, in 2023, we face the AI revolution. Once again, we are uncertain. and not ready for the change but the change is inevitable it is not going to stop for us the only way forward is to embrace it i'm not saying we'll lose our jobs tonight but eventually we will become absolute for tomorrow's world no matter what industry we are in 
This is how we can use AI today in our daily jobs to improve our speed and accuracy. Apart from ChatGPT, there are hundreds of tools we can use every day. If we search on Google AI tools plus the industry name, we can find hundreds of tools which are relevant to you. Become curious, stop that laziness because curiosity ignites our brain. Keep tinkering with those tools and when you find something useful, integrate them in your workflow. Be it learning a new language, coding or solving a math problem. AI can help you with all of them. For example, if you want to learn English, you can type in chat GPT, practice English with me and it will start having a conversation with you as a person. The more you speak, eventually you will become fluent in the language. Imagine if you have an idea and you don't have anyone to share it with. Share it with AI. It will validate your ideas and also tell you how to improve it. You can also brainstorm with it to generate more unique ideas. Some of the other use cases are, it can create your digital avatar and also create a presentation for you. You can generate unique images for your special use cases and also you can use it to write content for any context. The applications are limitless. By the way, I would not suggest anything that I would not use personally. I used AI to gather information for this video and also improve my grammar. My take is that AI is an amazing tool to improve our productivity and embracing it will make us superhumans. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Like, not opening doors to opportunities will limit our growth. Not subscribing my channel will keep you from learning something new every week. So click on that subscribe button because next week I'm going to talk about 10 AI tools which you can use today. Thank you for watching. This is Tarun Josh signing off.